So what happens if the oil level in your engine is too low? This video, we're just going to look at some of the symptoms that you will typically start to notice and experience if you let that oil level get too low. And we'll also look at some of the things to look out for that could potentially be causing the oil level to be too low. So don't get caught out. Avoid those expensive repair bills and just keep an eye on your oil levels. We've done videos on having too much oil and the damage that causes, but we've had questions about what happens when the oil level drops too low. So that's something we're going to address in this video for you. So the first thing most drivers will notice is an oil pressure warning light coming up on the dashboard display. So that's typically the shape of an oil can. It might be red, it might be amber, it might be flashing with an exclamation mark. When that happens, you should really stop driving and just investigate further because that's quite serious. When it's got to that point, the engine is really struggling to have enough oil to circulate around the engine and the oil pressure is so low, you're going to start damaging the engine. So the first thing you should do is just pull over and check the oil level and if it's too low, top it up immediately. But initially, we're just going to discuss other symptoms that aren't maybe as obvious as having that warning light on the dashboard. So you might notice a change in engine noise. So as the oil pressure drops, the lubrication drops, so the friction increases. You may have a rattle from the top of the engine where the oil is just not getting up there to refresh the parts where the other oils can't reach. This is often most noticeable when the engine has just started up, when it's fairly cold, and when the engine is idling. So get used to the standard engine noise and engine noises of your engine when it's idling. And if that changes, investigate oil pressure problems. With the increased friction that goes on inside the engine, you may also notice increased heat. So as the metal components start rubbing together without adequate lubrication, you may notice the temperature starting to creep up. That may just be running slightly hotter than usual as an early indication of this problem. But it may also affect the performance of the engine. So it might be more sluggish. It might not be revving as freely. There might be flat spots and hesitancy, or you just don't have the same snap when you put the throttle down as you used to. You can also notice this problem in the form of increased oil consumption. So assuming that you check your oil levels regularly, if you notice the dipstick constantly going down, that's a potential warning sign that you've got a problem there. Find out what is regarded as normal for your car. I've heard of some cars that require a litre of oil every thousand miles and other cars seem to go almost a full year and they only need a quart of a top up. So let me know in the comments what your experience has been in terms of oil level on your engine. Let me know what engine you've got. I'm always interested to expand my knowledge and just understand more about people's engines. So the most common cause of low oil pressure is literally not enough oil in the sump. So the sump sump is at the bottom of the engine, that's where the oil collects. There's an oil pickup in that sump. So if the level of oil is below the level of that pickup, the pickup is not going to get enough oil. So you might be getting away with it typically when you're driving in a straight line, but as soon as you corner, the oil will slush around and you may have periods of time where there's insufficient oil covering the oil pickup mechanism. So the poor little oil pump is just struggling to pull oil up and it's just getting air. So that can actually damage the pump. If the pump is just spinning in air and not getting enough oil, it will eventually just burn out and you'll have all sorts of problems from that issue. So make sure you keep an eye on those oil levels. And if they keep dropping, find out the cause of why they're dropping. So low oil pressure can typically just be caused by not having enough oil in the engine. So make that a weekly part of your routine checks that you do on your engine and just keep an eye on your oil level and get a feel for what normal consumption is and what abnormal consumption is when it arises so you can spot problems early on. The oil pump does a lot of work pulling the oil up from the sump and then and then pushing it around the engine where it's most needed. So you need a lot of lubrication in the top of the engine where the cams and the valves are located. They're moving quite quickly. There's a lot of wear going on and that's probably the hardest place for the oil to get to just because it's the furthest point away from the sump. So if the oil pump itself has become worn, the flow rate that it's going to be able to produce is much lower. So the oil is going to flow more slowly. So you're going to have inadequate pressure, inadequate lubrication in the top part of the engine, or indeed in any part of the engine, if the flow is not where it should be, it's going to really struggle to get that oil circulating properly. When the oil pump starts to wear, this is a problem that tends to run away with itself because it's working hard to push oil around and it's not able to, it will tend to deteriorate more quickly. And if the oil level is constantly low and it's constantly pulling air, it's spinning too quickly. It's not got the oil flowing through it and the friction and the wear and tear on the oil pump mechanism itself is going to 
accelerate and become a major problem. So the oil runs through an oil filter. So if that oil filter is clogged, that can affect the way the oil is flowing around the engine. So a clog may not completely restrict the oil from flowing, but it may be sufficient that the oil flows too slowly. It's not getting back into the sump with sufficient speed. So the oil pump itself is starting to struggle to pull up enough fresh oil to lubricate the engine properly. So sometimes if the oil has become contaminated, the most common thing is generally sludge building up in the oil. You get that a lot in turbocharged engines where the heat that's going through the turbo is accelerating the wear and tear on the oil, just causing it to form these sludgy deposits. So the oil pump is going to struggle to move this viscous oil around the engine. But conversely, also using too thin an oil can also affect the oil pump's ability to push that oil around the engine. So be very careful when you select a grade that it's as recommended by the manufacturer, or you may just be stacking the odds against yourself in terms of maintaining a decent oil pressure within your engine. The sludge that builds up in the oil can eventually start to block the oil passages, the oil pickup. And if you're starting to constrict the flow around the engine, then the pressure is going to drop off. The, the oil pump is going to be doing a lot more work to try and overcome that as well. So the takeaways from this really is just to keep an eye on the oil level to keep an eye on the normal noises that you get from the engine. And if there's an abnormal noise starting, investigate that. And also to just keep an eye out for oil leaks and abnormal temperature readings that you get from the engine. So the basic principle of any kind of car maintenance is just to be aware of what the engine is meant to do. And if it starts operating outside of what it's meant to, new noises, new rattles, new temperature readings, new hesitancy or flat spots, you know something is up so you can investigate that. And hopefully you'll save yourself a very expensive problem further down the line. So I hope this video has been useful to you. If you want to know more about keeping your car in tip top condition and avoiding those expensive repair bills, please subscribe to the channel because we would love you to stay tuned. And if you're interested in keeping your car in top condition, I've lined this video up for you that you should find really interesting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.